mitgenommen. Jupp. I won't just get down. Thanks, Pam. He's barely short. Get down, Sid. Do you bet? short dude just quit I don't need it. It's the second one off that point now. This need to get bigger. Not a small one. Short again. Just set it somewhere. I got a mess. I set the hook and it wrapped around my pole. Alright, I take it off for you. Yeah. I gotta try and get some line cleaned up. Short. Short.
have to get used to it. But no, it should be fine. Thirteen and a quarter. I got one on too. Yep. Sorry, babe. That was two in the exact same spot. Get down! Yeah, I thought it was when he was flopping around. Get down! Just barely shy of 13. Another large I don't know. I didn't think so. Yeah, maybe. He's short, right? Just making sure. Yeah. Oh, he's tiny. <laughs> uh, this one was a little bit further off, but yes. To answer your question, yes. Huh? Get down! Get down! Oh my god, dog. Oh, 
There ain't no way, right? No. I was reeling it in, and that's when he bit it. Alright, y'all. Midday update. It ain't going so hot for us. No. We uh, started some of the spots. We caught some keepers. And just wasn't happening. Everything's been 13, 13 and a half, 13 and three quarter. I just can't find them 14 inches, so... We're up in another spot where I rolled a three pounder and we had a few other bites and we're just gonna put our head down and see if we can find some fish. So Let's see what happens. You like He's got to make it, right? You know where you were casting? Yeah. There was a fish that blew up there probably five minutes before you started casting to it. I know. I cast it over it twice and nothing. When I was casting there, there was another one to the right. There was one up in here somewhere, too. Are we on the board, finally? We're about to find out. We are on the board. 14 and a half, 14 and three quarters. Good deal. You're going to have to help me with the plugs ain't in. Put them in. I'm not worried about what. No. But yeah, he's definitely long enough. Yeah. I'm glad we came up here. We'll get the plug in later. As long as it holds enough water. Yeah, and pump it with water too. Oof, there's a bunch of like wee sh in there too. Uh, I don't know, it seems pretty small. He's not even 13. Keeper number two? Huh? That was recording. Okay. Well, looks like Alicia's gonna put two bass in the water for us today. 15. Put them in the same one. Not matter. Same one. Yeah. Right. Alright guys, so like we said before, uh, the good, the bad, and the ugly, 
the good, the bad, and the ugly is what we're doing on this channel. Um, not everything's perfect. Not everything can go to uh, to plan. And today was a perfect, perfect example of that. Uh, as you guys saw in pre-fishing, uh, we caught quite a few fish. Not a ton. Um, and we found some, some real nice fish. A couple threes, some two and a halves, that one four pound smallie. Um, thought we had something figured out during pre-fishing, especially for a two day tournament. Uh, went and started in one spot that I think we caught three fish in and two of them that were on a frog were all keepers. Had one short during pre-fishing. Went there this morning. I bet we caught 15 fish in that spot this morning. Not a single keeper. So that was that was pre pretty heartening, I guess, to say the least. So we uh, figured, you know what, let's make a run down to where we caught that four pound smallie and where Alicia caught that other keeper smallie. Hit that. I think Alicia outfished me there seven fish and I think I might have caught one or two. Moral of the story, no keepers. Um, and all the fish that we were catching were between that 13 to 13 and 7 eighths, almost every single fish. I Me, mean, yeah, we caught a few smaller ones and stuff like that, but for the most part, that's that's what a lot of the fish were that came in the boat. So after that spot, we decided to run a, a third spot where we caught one keeper and had quite a few other bites, shook some off. We got there, caught, I don't know, four or five fish, all smalls. Same thing, all right there at that 13 to 13 and a half, 13, seven eighths. And stuff like that so I, there was one spot where i rolled a, a three pounder with a swim jig during pre-fishing and i wasn't real keen on going up in the area just because it it doesn't look that good we didn't have a ton of bites but we figured you know what we're here we might as well go up so we went up in there and that's where alicia put the first keeper in the boat so we kind of fished around in there to see if we could figure anything else out i caught one small one I think he was 13 inches up in there and then that I mean that was about it so we left there and went back hit a couple of the other spots you know on the way back and caught more fish just not what we were looking for so all in all I think we ended up weighing two fish for 346 or something so I mean we didn't have a two pound average but yeah I don't don't know what happened um it's just like the the keeper fish just disappeared there was nothing really that different i mean the only thing i can think of is we went from bluebird sunny skies to overcast most of the day i don't know if that had anything to do with it or not but yeah so we're sitting i believe 24th out of 24 so far there was quite a few limits weighed in i think 15 one is leading it right now a couple 14s and quite a few 13s and 12s so we're just gonna have to put our heads down and go out and fish um i know we don't have a chance at a top five or anything like that and pretty demoralizing when it's like that but when you have a day like we had i mean it was still exciting and fun we caught a lot of fish but just couldn't couldn't find them keepers so tomorrow i think since we're not in it i think her and i are just gonna probably run around and try and find some new water and just see what we can come up with um it don't take much. I mean, all you fishermen know, you you run across that right spot, and it, there could be five of them sitting there. So that's what we're gonna do. But make sure you guys stay tuned for that video. Uh, day number two will be a, a separate video because we have quite a bit of footage for you guys out of the day number one. And uh, we'll go from there. So if you guys haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, it means the absolute world to us and helps us out a ton with YouTube. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Leave some comments down on the bottom. Uh, Alicia and I are planning on trying to do some, some fun fishing and some different challenges just out of the boat, just to you know go out and enjoy a day in the boat instead of stressing over a tournament and where the fish are and catch one keeper and then have to leave and stuff like that. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I mean. We wanted to show you guys the realistic side of it and this is the realistic side of it some people have luck and some people just don't and 
could be your tournament. It might not be your tournament. And today, this weekend, is not our tournament. I can tell you that for a fact. <laughs> but uh, anyways, I'm gonna quit talking. We'll catch you guys in the next episode here on Seek Through Outdoors.